Is running solar actually a viable way to mine Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies and maybe even just get, well, it's essentially free electricity for your home these days? Is the cost first return, right? That return on investment, is it really there? We're gonna be looking at Tesla Solar. We're gonna be comparing that to what it really takes to power a Bitcoin and other crypto mining rigs. We're gonna talk about standby charges, which caught me off guard. And then we're gonna be looking at the tax credits that are an absolute game changer potentially uh, for solar. They're here right now. They may stick around for a while, but without them, especially in the USA, Solar would be much less viable. I'm Bosk, you're on the Bosk One YouTube channel. So everyone's heard about Tesla more or less, right? And they've got cars, they've got solar panels, and they've got solar roofs. I wanted to do a solar roof when we were building our home, but everything was falling apart. It didn't work out. Boo-hoo, the end, whatever, moving on. So I'm looking at putting solar panels on it. I'd like to do a ground mount array by the house, but Miss Bosk is not interested in that uh, at the farm. We're definitely gonna do a commercial ground mount array setup, but that's for another day and topic. Today I'm focusing on De designing and hopefully deploying sooner than later a solar system for my house a residential type solar system with the ability to power a miner in mind for a few reasons let me explain why one mining is incredible it's a great way to earn passive income i already own these miners so it's even more of a no-brainer but i wouldn't be afraid to buy a miner and you know tack that onto this equation when we designed our house we also did not put a generator on it because I've always had the end game of putting in a battery system to have a power backup that way because I could refill it for free and not have to rely on another fuel source. I'll talk more about that later. Uh, but the other reason I want not only a solar system, but a solar system capable of powering a miner, right, is I dream of having a pool. And if I have a pool and I have solar and I am a miner, right? Because if you don't know, we've been working on building out our own uh, big mining farm. The coolest or hottest thing in that equation is I could heat the pool for free while earning passive income with a miner and I'm making my own electricity. I'm getting paid and heating my pool for free. I'm trying to get to that real life cheat code. It's not easy and it's capital heavy. So with their system, you can punch in your address, you can punch in your home size, you can put your estimated kilowatt hour usage. If you're familiar with that, you look at your electricity bill, uh, or you can just put in your actual electricity bill cost, and uh, you can get a breakdown with that. Uh, so let's say I'm spending like 500 bucks on electricity. It's saying that, hey, we want to pretty much give you the biggest system we offer, which is a 24.6 kilowatt solar system. Uh, I called them, they explained that this is an AC based system, not DC. Uh, that's the quick uh, explanation of that without going into more detail of what that is. This also comes with five power walls, which is a ton of batteries. Uh, so this estimates that this system would cost $100,000. And after your tax credits, basically coming in at 71 grand. And this is largely pumped up in price with the power walls. And we're gonna take that out of the equation for the numbers we're running, right? Because if we take out the power walls, which are also the Tesla inverters, so it's not quite that simple, right? We take 71, 474 minus 26, 530. Uh, then that leaves us with a realized cost after the tax credits. Remember, you need to be able to have that income to offset that, uh, 45 grand. Their prices are installed, and I'm not pushing Tesla Solar by any means. I'm not an affiliate with them or anything like that. It's just, it's commonly discussed, and their roof is commonly discussed, and they have a, their power wall, because of the built-in inverter type design they have, is one of the cheapest and best options that you have for a battery backup system, especially something that's easily in, in designed to tie in with solar. But here's the deal, we could get a 25 kilowatt system for about 45 grand after tax credits, regardless of the power wall system there. And you need about a 15 kilowatt system to power one Bitcoin miner, right? And to make enough energy for it during the day, generally speaking, uh, to also power at night when of course there is no sun. 
My game plan and most people's game plan, if it's feasible, is to grid tie your system. This is only interesting with what's called net metering. Net metering means like, let's say I produce 100 kilowatts and then I only use 50. They basically bank 50 kilowatts for me and I can use those on another day where I'm using more electricity. Maybe I wasn't home and now I'm home. Uh, I can use that to power my car at night. I can use it through the night, you know, whatever else. It acts as your battery. So when the sun goes down, you're pulling electricity out of the grid. And instead of being charged for that, you could be basically just compensated with the power that you'd already put in there. The last thing I'll say on Tesla Solar here in today's video is you know, just taking a quick pulse of how do people feel about it, right? Some bad communication, some headaches, I'd still do it again. It was half the price. Uh, just because you go with the local installer doesn't mean you get better work or service. Uh, uh, Aseram would make, uh, recommend them. One of the guys at work uh, with a Certisy got a system. He was very happy, especially for the price. Uh, a lot of quiet, satisfied customers that are less vocal to say, go to Reddit, make a big thread complaining. Um, this guy loves it. He's been happy with theirs. 48, 7.4 panels and two power walls two summers ago. Cost just under 50K. Install took two days. Last year, the kilowatt hour they banked during the spring, summer, and fall wiped out their electrical bills through the end of the year. In my house, and if I'm running a miner, my electricity bill is around like 500 bucks, right? So let's say, you know, I've got, I'm spending 500 bucks to power my house and a miner, right? So I'm spending $6,000 a year. And so we take 10 years, easy math here, pretty easy math. Uh, I'd spend 60 grand. I do not believe for half a second that electricity is gonna be cheaper in 10 years than it is today. Unless we go nuclear, which we won't, because that would make too much sense. And even then, it probably they probably just keep all the profits. You know, it's, oh, it's expensive to set up. The point is, it's gonna get more expensive moving forward. I think that's just freaking obvious. What has gotten cheaper in your life over the last 10 years? Oh, wait. Nothing. So consult a tax advisor, all that stuff, disclaimer, whatever, not financial advice. Uh, there's a 30% tax credit, right, if you deploy solar, right? And this even applies to commercial installations, which I find surprising, interesting, and but the way our government operates, crazy. In addition to that, there's also a potential 10% credit adder if you are in an energy community under this Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, so you can head over to this energy community's link and look at your location which could bump you up from 30 to 40%. And then there's another tax credit, right? Basically another 10% tax credit for solar that is manufactured in the US. There's a potential 50% write off on this. To my knowledge, there's not even a cap. That is huge. I mean, what else is, they're even like this that exists and but i will say the u.s companies are normally so much more expensive that it's not even worth the tax credit uh but that could change in the future but it probably won't it's interesting nonetheless especially if you want to burn up your money going full american made here instead of pursuing the best return on investment or in solar terms the lowest cost right per kilowatt hour that you're producing per watt. So if my system is essentially costs 45 grand and over the next 10 years, I'm going to spend 60 grand, right? Within the next 10 years, I would save 15 grand. I would also be running a Bitcoin miner or whatever else during that time. And let's just say, right? You know, it's hard to calculate this stuff long-term. I'm going to be conservative here. Say it makes 10 bucks a day, uh, you know, in retrospect, I think we're gonna go up with BTC price in the future, right? So 10 bucks a day, every day, right? For that year, for 10 years, I would make 36 grand with that miner. So instead of realizing savings of 15 grand, I would earn 36 grand and have saved or essentially made 50 grand. And obviously this is just a hope and a dream but it's not unrealistic. It's not impossible. If I install a 45 grand solar system today and use it to this full potential, I could essentially make 
you will, $100,000 over the next 10 years, that's 10 grand a year, doing nothing. I already have the miner. And if I had to go out and buy it, get one for like three, four grand. And so what if we gotta take, we'll, we'll go up to $5,000. We'll buy the nicest one we could possibly buy right now, okay? Whatever. Uh, it would also make more, which would change this whole equation. But the point is, that's where my head's at. Let's talk about standby charges, especially with big systems like this. Uh, so this doesn't happen to my understanding with commercial systems, but it can happen with residential systems. Basically it's a scam that tries to keep homeowners from making a big solar system for numerous reasons. It could be that they would, they want to bill you more. They want to bill you for you sending all of that electricity in the grid. The grid was never designed for that, even though they're saying they're running out of electricity and whatever else. Uh, I agree that, you know, it was not designed with solar, you know, a bunch of little mini solar feeders going into it. One of the, I talked to my electric company, one of the reps, and they're like, yeah, we're gonna bill you standby charges if you make a system of uh, this big, let's say like 25 kilowatts, because uh, they have to have a bigger grid and be ready for basically if your solar system goes down and now you need to draw out 25 kilowatts, which is, you know, it's a big draw. Basically, you need to draw out the power of, you know, a whole home running all kinds of stuff in a full miner and you haven't been and we're not prepared for that. So we have to keep that extra bandwidth in our grid and, and we're going to we're going to bill you uh, and looking at some people that had similar systems and similar situations like that. Uh, you know, they were potentially charged like what rounded out to be about 500 bucks a year uh, 500 bucks a year. I don't like that. It's, that's a number we recently ran That's six thousand dollars over the next ten years and that eats into my ROI I want the best return on my investment possible. That's why I'm doing this all the people talking about, you know uh, Going green sustainable. That's a that's a nice byproduct for me uh, That's cool, but I am putting money in to make money and save money there's no bailout for guys like me. If I don't get it done, I'm so I get it done. Let's bring it back to battery systems. Residential solar systems, why don't more of them have batteries? This is a bit dated, uh, but the post is relatively new. Roughly 6% of residential solar systems installed in 2020 had battery storage. Uh, why don't you have it? If you have full net metering, the grid is a free battery. Absolutely, unless the grid's down. And now what do I do? I like the way that he breaks his down. He breaks it down as his battery over 10 years cost about 26 cents per kilowatt hour. And it's just basically never really worth it. Some things that make a, a battery system more interesting to me, right, is being off grid. That allows me to essentially be off grid or in, operate independently of the grid in a power outage. I work from home. If I cannot work, I cannot make money. If I can't make money, well, it may make sense to buy something that helps me preserve the way for me to make money. I don't plan to put a battery back up on my whole mining farm. That's not realistic or feasible, but there's a lot I can do out of my house that I do need power for. Furthermore, Alexa, especially spearheading it. I'm the farmhand working on that homestead lifestyle. So a lot more vegetables, meat, frozen, right? We're looking to go to the butcher, buy half a cow, things like that. We buy our bacon in freaking 50 pound packs, right? Buying in bulk to get costs down and to help us eat better. It kind of goes on and on, but remember that most people are NPCs, most people are lemmings, and, and if it's no not financially possible, it may not be there, but I, I want to be able to operate, you know, independently to some degree. And, and uh, I won't go full prepper today, but let's say, you know, we hit the apocalypse. Guess what's still gonna work? My power, because not only am I a generator of it, but I have a way to store it. Uh, so. In the end, in a dream, right? I can power these things. Another, another key thing that may not apply to everyone, I'm on well and septic, and my septic has a pump. So my septic doesn't work right without power. It's not gravity fed. I can't get water without electricity. There are a few ways to circumvent this, and of course I could install a generator, but then I would need fuel. There's pros, cons, there's different ways to do this. You can be, there's more laborsome ways, things that need more upkeep, whatever. But the bottom line is, is I absolutely want a battery system for numerous reasons. And for the biggest reason of all, I have a semi-unstable power grid, and 
I want to be trending towards that off-grid potential because f relying and depending on anyone else and especially any entity. So what are people doing for lowest cost home battery systems, right? Uh, he's selling the excess for 6.8 cents and that's a really good electric rate to sell back. A lot of electric companies will buy for like one cent and then they're like, oh, but I need to, I need some. And like, oh yeah, yeah, we can, we can do that. Uh, it's gonna be 14 cents per kilowatt hour. Wow. EG4's batteries are the least expensive that he's found. Modular start at five kilowatt hours, go up to 80 plus kilowatt hours. Pricing is 1,500 USD or five kilowatts. I get emails about this category all the time. I think even EcoFlow recently emailed me. Uh, and these are basically portable solar systems with an inverter and a little generator type. And uh, they're supposed to function as a power backup off grid, right? Generates up to 9.3 kilowatt hours daily with these three pieces. Uh, it's the best. They boast that it's a great backup system for your home uh, for power outages. These are interesting, but I think they would be best suited if they also had a dual fuel option, right? If you're going to have this equipment, you're going to have a generator and it's going to be, you know, basically a big battery. Uh, it would also be nice to be able to run dual fuel through it. If you wouldn't mind sharing any of your expertise, knowledge, if you work in the solar sector or if you've deployed systems or if you've worked with anything that I'm talking about in this video and beyond, please reach out. Oh, I mean, hit, tag me on social media, at me on the Discord server, or go to the about section here on YouTube, grab the email and, and uh, send me a message. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you have pursued it seriously, uh, what has worked for you, what your opinion of good prices for any of these things are. Uh, I am rapidly trying to get up to speed uh, and do well with this endeavor. It's a lot to break down. It's a lot to sift through. Um, I am really hitting solar hard. I am sick of, I wouldn't even say I was dragging my feet. I, I've been overwhelmed for years and years and years and I've closed out some projects and now I'm starting to look at what's next. And I, honestly, my stomach turns when I look at all of these new uh, mining rig prices, right? And the rapid release and just low viability of previous released models in the mining game. And uh, I need an edge. I need a better edge. Uh, so Bosquin has some unique edges, but I need I need I need a solar edge. I'm I'm looking for that that solar flare move that's going to give me an advantage here. Uh, so I'm getting serious. I'm ramping this up. I'm focused on deploying a system for my house and a little bit of mining, of course. There. Uh, also, my house has my worst electricity rate. I pay if I round up nearly 14 cents per kilowatt hour on my house. Uh, my farm, I've really been making huge progress on my farm's electricity rate where I am paying between 7 and 10-ish cents uh, per kilowatt hour. So essentially like nearly half of what I'm paying at my house. Uh, so then, you know, I, I crank the AC in the summer and I, I crank the heat uh, in the winter in addition to running mining rigs. I am a heavy electric user. Uh, but I mean, I'm, I'm nearly always in my house. So I want to be comfortable. I used to just uh, always be in like terrible temperature conditions because uh, I'm like, I'm saving money and I need more money and I got to buy more Bitcoin and I need more miners and I got to stack my Satoshis. But like at some point I was like, look, I, I want to be comfortable. This is this is my tomb. OK, I want to be comfortable in my tomb. You know what else is in my tomb? cutest pup in the world. 10 seconds of tails. She's our CSO now, our chief solar officer here at Bosscoin. We close every video out in style with this pup. Hope you like the content. Hope you subscribe and stick around. I hope if you are a Bosscoin subscriber, who, which means you're awesome, that this content it doesn't deviate too much from our norm. Uh, and if you're just sticking around for solar content, I don't think you'll be disappointed here in the slightest. Uh, but it will, of course, always be weaved in with my master mission of pursuing financial freedom. So, hey, see you later. Hey, you wanna buy a mining rig? Do you want a pretty good price on it and pretty fast shipping? Then you may be looking for ASIC Marketplace. Click our link in the video description below to not only support our channel, but support yourself with the coupon code we've got right next to it.